Oh, hello again. Welcome to another episode of Sal Says What's Friday Comic Roundup. I've got three trade paperbacks to talk about here today, and one of them happens to be a hardcover, so we're getting pretty fancy, I think. The first one I want to talk about is Lock and Key Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. Uh, this is a first volume in a long-running series that, once again, I am not a fan of. Uh, Gabriel Rodriguez's art is fantastic. I am a huge fan of his art. It really brings the Lovecraftian style to a comic book sensibility. I love the mesh of art and writing. As far as it being a comic book, I think it's fantastic. I think the art is great. I think the writing is sharp. I think it's a terrific book. I can see why it's so popular. And I am going to give it three out of five little houses because I just didn't connect with the material. But that doesn't mean it's not a very good comic. That's really the case with most of the things I review. Even if I don't necessarily connect with the material, I still have to appreciate it as a book unto itself. So with Lock and Key, uh, Volume 1, I have to say, great comic. Not for me, but maybe for you. So check it out. Three out of five. The next one is our hardcover here today. Well, it's a commercial property that is not uh, original to comics. It is Serenity, The Shepherd's Tale, written by uh, Zach Whedon, story by Joss Whedon, and art by Chris Samney. This is the origin story of the infamous Shepherd book character from the Firefly Serenity series. And I have to say, this is a great dark secret that should have stayed a dark secret. Because once it comes out into the light, once you are given this incredibly short, really abridged, uh, kind of trite origin story, you wish you never knew the secrets of Shepherd Book, because damn, is this not worth it. Chris Samney's art is really good superficially. When you get into the nitty-gritty, it doesn't really feel that cohesive. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the art as far as approximating characters, uh, demonstrating action. It just doesn't really feel like it complements the work. Zach Whedon's writing is also pretty weak. Um, if you're familiar with my other review of Terminator 2029 to 1984, link down below, you'll notice that I am not a big fan of Zach Whedon's writing, and it is not any more apparent than it is in Serenity the Shepherd's Tale. It does not tell the story, doesn't give it just, doesn't do it justice. Trying to divorce myself as a fan, as a brown coat, I have to say, as if I were just not a fan, if I didn't know anything about this series, if I just said, ooh, this looks interesting, even though the cover does not look interesting at all, uh, I would say, let's check it out. And it, I wouldn't be interested. And I don't blame anybody else for not being interested. This really slipped under the radar. I don't really hear it being referenced very much. I'd give it one out of five little houses for Serenity of the Shepherd's Tale. My final review is a little older, but it still resonates with people, and I can't blame them. This is The Astonishing Spider-Man Wolverine by uh, Jason Aaron and Adam Kubert. This book is fantastic. From the art right on down to the writing, you do have this really fresh original take on both characters, and you put them on this really interesting adventure that for any other character would be nonsensical and stupid. For these two characters is really kind of fun and interesting, and I love the visuals. Mad props to Jason Aaron for saying, hey, this story exists outside of continuity. Let me completely play with that. Let me not play it safe. Let me totally F up everything that there is because I have these Davis explanations that will fix the problem for me. Uh, Adam Kubert's art is astounding. If you have a Kubert on your book, you have a win as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to give this collection itself... I want to give it 5 out of 5. I'm trying to think just offhand, if there's anything about it that I didn't really dig. And I have to say, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I really love this book. If you like Wolverine, if you like Spider-Man, and if you like both of them, you will love this book. If you like Adam Kubert's art, check out his stuff because he is fantastic. And Jason Aaron really nails the voices of both Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the original characters that he plays with. If you are not quite convinced about picking up this volume, I would have four words for you. Doom the Living Planet. Fantastic. Awesome. Pure comics. That's what it is. It's pure pop garbage comic books. From all of us over here at Sal Says What, to all of you out there in the internet, I say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Sal Says What's Friday Comic Roundup. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And you can, of course, like and subscribe the video, check out our channel, check out our other stuff, uh, go to our website, littlehouseentertainment.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Sal Says What, or you could drop by our Facebook page, Google+, all that crap. 
Uh, all the information is down below in the description. We will see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Uh, I have only three words for you. Actually, four.